Welcome to my YouTube channel where we demonstrate and discuss everything related to theatrical and entertainment production crafts. Please subscribe to get the latest updates, posts, and demonstrations. While I will focus primarily on safety in the shops and comprehensive training and operating procedures for tools and machinery, I'll also demonstrate and discuss practical applications like flat and platform construction, scene painting, and more. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments. Once again, please subscribe and power up the alert bell to get the most up-to-date notifications about new content. At the end of the final performance or during strike, one of the responsibilities of the stage crew and or the stage management crew is to remove all the spikes from the stage. As you can see, we have a lot of spikes left over from the last show. Spend the time at strike pulling up those spikes. Better yet, if there are set spikes for like this for a rehearsal for the show, the stage crew ideally would pull up those spikes as they're setting the stage and then you'd only have the stage show spikes on the set of furniture and props and things that move around but all those spikes need to come up because that's part of that show's strike and that show should strike it and clear it out and it should go back to a clean stage floor Also at the end of the show, the running crew or the stage management crew should remove all of the spikes on the line sets and remove all of your show cards after the set has come down and the set has been struck. So we should go back to a basic empty stage plot with our line sets. So if you have any spikes from the show, like this one, take those off, make them go away. The last thing the next crew wants to have to do is deal with all your leftover show spikes and or they just add more spikes and then they don't know is it the green one is it the purple one is it the red one is it the which one we don't know so strike your stuff this is set strike etiquette and show strike etiquette so strike all your spikes on the line sets return your Line sets to fully out as well. This one you can barely see. There's a spike down here. This is a spike for fully out, and the spike is at the top of the lock lever. That's one way, way of spiking things. It's uh, a little bit more visible, but it's harder to line up because your lever is not in that position until it's locked. It's usually more normal to spike it right at the top of the lock here as that's the easier spot to see it. Of course, then that gets in the way of your locking ring and other things, but, but that's the more consistent spike. We don't really need a spike of fully out because the arbor has reached its fully out position. So it doesn't go anywhere other than this way. So we'll bring it around here so it's head height, so get rid of that spike. Spike was unnecessary anyway. Fully out is fully out. You don't need a spike for it normally, unless you need a warning, warning you that the arbor is coming so you don't smash it into the uh, arbor stop at the bottom. Return that to its position. This line set and a few of the line sets do have our concert plot and regular house plot spikes. Those you don't want to remove. This is the portal border. And it's going to have a spike mark here, a blue spike mark. That's our concert position for our border. And now it's in spike, we put the lock in. 
So don't remove the show spikes. And I think electrics are all spiked red for their event concert in between performance spike. So the red spike stay and this blue spike stays. Oh, look, house trim on the card. Look at that little blue piece of spike tape that says house trim, blue for house trim. So the borders seem to all have blue spike for house trim and the legs don't need a spike. They come to touch the ground. So uh, that's when they're in. They don't really probably need a spike normally, but the borders need a standard spike and the, that's all blue taped. I can see that along the cards here and it looks like electrics are normally red. And maybe we should make that consistent so everything's blue for house trim. You will have a house plot that you go back to after your shows so that any other events or concerts or special events in between would have a standard setup. And that's what we have here. Remove your spikes, stage crew. At the end of your show, at strike, after the final performance, remove your spikes. We don't need them anymore. Make them go away. And if you're doing a new show and someone has left spikes, take off the extra ones that don't belong. They are only gonna confuse you. So remove the spikes that you don't need. If there are shows in rep, you may have to have two shows that have different spikes and you're changing stuff out on every other day or every couple of days or even in the same day. But in our house, we're not doing that sort of thing. We have one show, it lasts two or three weeks, and then it's done. And then we go back to concerts. And then after some concerts, we have another show. And it's very consistent that way. So at the end of your show, take your spikes away. Mm -hmm.